Hello and welcome. This is Patty Bennett. We have some cute Valentine cards to make today and they don't have to be Valentine's because look, I have other ideas for you. Thank you, Mother's Day. Uh, you could use these for anniversary or any other occasion that you want to create cards for. This is Patty Bennett. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So these are Stampin' Up! products. You can hop over to pattystamps.com to see all the supplies we're using today. They will, they are already listed there. So if you're watching live, today is Friday, January 26th, and it is 11 a.m. Pacific time on Facebook. If you are watching on my blog or on YouTube or you're watching a replay, welcome. So happy that you're here. You have caught me at a different time, but if you have caught me live, I would love for you to say hello. And can you can someone just confirm that everything looks and sounds okay? I just looked over on my tablet and everything was frozen, but then it unfroze. So I don't know. You know, technology, it's always so fun. <laughs> so, hey, I see Tammy, Esther, Mary, Rosie, Shan. I see hearts going by and thumbs up. And I think that means that it's probably good. Thank you, Shan. She says it looks and sounds fine. Okay, I think I think I accidentally tapped something on my tablet that made it stop. So, anyway. Okay, so what I want to do is just quickly show you how these cute cards work isn't this fun? And I'll be honest, I thought, uh oh, sound looks very complicated, but you're going to love it when you see how easy this is. Oh my goodness, these are so quick and easy. They're very cute. Aren't they, aren't they fun? I love this. I have used the Stampin' Up! Adoring Hearts bundle. We'll, we'll look at that. And the free designer paper for celebration called Most Adored. So you can make kind of a variety of cards with those papers. We'll look at those. But I do want to encourage you that if, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, okay, I love this design. I don't need a Valentine. But look, you know, you could do thank you. You could do birthday. You could do, uh, well, I mean, anything, right? It doesn't have to even be heart themed, but you could make something different like I did a Mother's Day. So I think we'll be making this one today because I wanted to show you how I altered the perennial postage. I think that's the right name, the rectangular die and made it a square. I did want to show you that. So I think we'll make this one today. But think outside the box. If you wanted to do something like with the lavender, with the bee mine, uh, it could be a sports themed it could be that cute cow it could be the milkshake like this could be anything this design but once you know how to make it I think you'll have fun playing with this oh hello everyone oh my goodness lots of people just jumped on the live thank you so glad that you're here hey Gian Faith Carol Kathy Jennifer Elaine Margot there's so many people thank you so much I hope that you enjoy this card. We're we're going to make one together. I have all the dimensions for you, and then I will uh, answer your questions. And, oh, stay tuned to the end. I have a couple of other kind of sneak peeks of other cards that are not this design. So, welcome. If you're just finding the live, this is Patty Bennett. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I have over 6,000 blog posts for you at pattystamps.com, so that if you are interested in seeing other Stampin' Up! projects, products, videos, tips, color combinations, you name it, you'll find them all there. And I would love to be able to send you catalogs or help you with orders if you don't work with another demonstrator already. Hey, Lillian, Donna, Johanna. Oh, jo jo Jonna. Sorry, I said that wrong. That's a great name. I love that. Marva, Fran, Carrie, Robin. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. So let's just look quickly at the products in this celebration brochure for January, February 2024. This is the paper I'm using, page nine. And you know how, I don't know if you do this, but I looked at this originally and I thought, oh, I don't need marbled paper. And I just went right by it. Well, 
uh, because I earned several free products, I got this paper. And when I opened it, <laughs> I thought, well, that was really short-sighted of me because there are some really amazing and awesome and cute designs in this paper. So you do have hearts and flowers. You have gold and you have pink and red. Look at that great plaid. I love that. Another gold plaid and a red plaid. There's the marble paper. And then a large heart design. Another flower and this design. And then another marbled um, pattern. So I, I, I don't know. I wish my brain didn't do that. I, I I think we all do it though. Do we do we see something and we think, oh, I don't need that or I don't like that color and you just move past it. But be sure you really look at things closely to to get the full benefit of what you're you might be passing up, right? So that's the paper we're using. It's free with a $50 order while supplies last because if this runs out, then it's gone. So I just want to make sure that you know um you might be watching this later and it might be gone. So grab it quick if you want the paper. And then I am also using these three products here. And I'm going to show you how this hybrid embossing folder works to die cut the hearts just plain and also with some texture to them. And then we'll be using the stamp set. Um, on my next video, we're using this. The, this is an awesome set. Oh, sorry, you probably can't see that very well. This is an awesome set of word die cuts, and I'll be showing you how to color on them and use them with a beautiful watercolor look background. So I'm going to do that video next, and I think that will be on my blog Monday. Just It's not going to be a live. It's just going to be an extra video for you to show you that. So those are the supplies I'm using. This catalog runs January to April 2024. If you're watching somewhere way down the road, then those products might be gone. So if you're just joining, here is a look at this really cute fold. And I'm calling it a double decker Z fold. Because see, it's like a double decker, right? You have this layer and this layer. But it's also a Z fold. I really don't know. If this has a name or not, I had one in my stash that was like this. I kind of dissected it and got the measurements. I don't know who it was from. There was no name on it. There was no writing in it. And so I have no idea who to contact or who to give credit to. But uh, I just thought it was fun. And I thought, let's see how it's made. And it's super easy. You're going to love it. Isn't this cute? Love these. And this one I brought in, this is from the annual, the Soft Shimmer Specialty Paper. So there are five different colors and I'm using um, the Bubble Bath. Uh, to me, I don't know, in my mind, it goes much better with Fresh Freesia. So this is Fresh Freesia ink. When I stamped Bubble Bath ink, it didn't go with it. So in my brain, this is more of a fresh freesia. And I just thought it was stunning with the gold. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's really cool with gold. So that's kind of a like a bonus. It's not Valentine themed exactly. Um, let me just see. Um, I was just, sorry. Let me just look at the questions for a second. Oh, hello from Canada and Wisconsin. Yes, Claire, that's a great way to look at it. This paper offers you enough so that if you want to make Valentines, you can. And if you don't want to make Valentines, you have enough to do other things. That is a great way to look at it. I love that. Thank you for that. Thanks for sharing, Sonia. Sweet of you. Yes, Gian, exactly. Works for more than Valentine's Day. That's a great, great observation. Okay, so, uh-oh, uh we're having buffering. Um... Are we, do we have a problem with the live? Can anybody confirm that we're okay? Hi, Kelly. Welcome to the live. 
I'll get out the supplies while I wait and make sure that somebody lets me know that we're doing okay. Jan says it's okay. Carol's okay. Robin, okay. Ro okay, thank you, everybody. All right, I'm going to keep going then. Fabulous. So I did all the parts here with dimensions, and I'm going to leave them on screen if you want to take a screenshot. But this is all on my blog tomorrow. So by tomorrow, I mean January 27th. And you will be able to... Oops, I can't even... Hang on, let me put them over here. Um, you'll be able to either pin or print. I have this as a graphic on my blog tomorrow. So you can see that tomorrow if you need to um, pin that or get the dimensions or quickly take a screenshot. So that's what I'm calling it, the double double decker Z fold. I don't know if that's the right thing, but that, that's what we're going with here. <laughs> All right, so let's pull out... I think I cut a second set of supplies, did I? Um, well, maybe not all of them. Oh, maybe I did. Okay, I think I have a second set of supplies here. So I'm going to leave these on here in case we need to review this. But just quickly, I'll show you that on the base, these two pieces layer. Just, just your standard, right? Your standard um, layering. The very front, these two pieces layer. Okay, so that's just really standard. Nothing tricky at all about those two pieces. This is a quarter sheet, four and a quarter by five and a half. It's scored two times. So do you see the scores? So we're just gonna score it at one and a quarter and two and a half. That makes the Z fold part. And then I did not use this additional piece on all the cards, but I'll show you where it goes. If you want to cut an additional DSP piece, then you have that one. But really, this is so super simple. So what I found was that when you have a half sheet of cardstock. We're going to do real red. You could do whatever color you want. That's four and a quarter by 11. You just start by cutting it in half at five and a half. So I just have two quarter sheets. We're going to set one aside for the back. This is the one that we are going to score twice. So one and a quarter one and a quarter and two and a half. Okay, so we have those two. I've already gone ahead and cut the four by four designer paper for the front. And no, I didn't. All right, let's, let's do the hearts. I'm just digging through my scraps here. So we need a four by five and a quarter of hearts and just be mindful of your direction. Okay, four by five and a quarter. And then the last piece that I need is a four by four or excuse me, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I think this is already, yep, four and a quarter square of cardstock. Does not have to be the same color. So if you wanted to mix and match, like here I've got the flirty flamingo in the background and a white layer for the top, you can totally do that. Or here I have white in the back and white in the front. Here I have red and red. So you can mix and match. You can make it however you would like. And I'm going to start by just layering this piece in the back. Use whatever adhesive you prefer. I just love liquid glue, so that's what I am going to use. If you were really in a pinch and you needed to save paper, you could just cut a strip for here 
and a strip over here. I personally feel like I can line this all up better and make sure that all the borders are correct if I just layer a, a standard, you know, four by five and a quarter on a standard sheet. So that's what I did. But you can, you know, you can make it however you'd like. And then I am going to go ahead and put these two layers together. So that's the four inch square of DSP on top of the four and a quarter inch square cardstock. So that gives me my front and back pieces. And then this is the, the quarter sheet that we scored at one and a quarter and two and a half. And you fold it in the back and forth manner so that you get that Z fold. So like super simple, right? These are easy dimensions, easy pieces. And oh, there's a hiccup. Uh oh. Okay, I hope it's all okay. I think the rest of you are saying it's pretty good. Oh, Shauna says it's frozen. Oh dear. You know, I'm so sorry. I, I wish I could control all the technologies. <laughs> and I can't. <laughs> so that extra piece that I said I did not use on every card, but it's optional. That's this piece here. I'll show you the dimension again. Optional for the inside, two and three quarter by four. It kind of depends what you want to do on the inside. So if you, hang on, I want to, I'm trying to find a die cut that I had in mind. Please hold. Where did I put those? My die cutting fairy just gave me a huge stack of die cuts. And now, oh, I don't know where that piece went. Okay, here. So if you wanted to do a die cut inside, did I do it on, yeah, or like this one, you really don't have to add the extra DSP. It just depends what you want to do on the inside. So up to you, but I think I'll go ahead and add it because I like this. Oh, thank you. Okay, some of you are saying it's all good. Mary, thank you, Jean. Okay, thank you, everybody. All right, I'll just keep going. Cross my fingers and say a little prayer. Okay, so that's that optional inside piece. Now we are ready to glue the three elements together like this. We're going to stack them up to make the double decker. And I played around a few different ways with this. And I'm going to show you what I settled on as the easiest way to do this. And again, whatever adhesive you want, I'm using Seal Plus because to me, this was a little bit stronger than using Tombow liquid glue. But I did do some of them with Tombow and they're fine. So, you know, up to you. This piece needs to be centered behind this piece. So what I did was I flipped this over. I flipped this over. I just kind of looked left and right. lined it up and pressed it down. That was the easiest way for me to get that centered. And then this, oh dear, I hate it when this happens. And I don't know why sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't, but anyway, um, then we need to center this whole assembly onto here. And so I am just, again, let me stand up and look through my camera here. I am looking left and right, up and down, and I'm just trying my best to center it. I did try other methods to get this whole thing together, and there are other ways that work, but this was what I found to be the easiest. So this is what I was saying. Do you see how this could have been a little strip of paper there and a little strip of paper here? But I just, you know, I found that just putting that whole sheet back there was, was the easiest for me. So that's it. That is the mechanism of the Double Decker Z Fold card. And I really think it's super simple with those dimensions. Um, let's see. 
Oh, well, thank you for joining, Genevieve. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Donna. Hey, Nancy. Thanks, Leah. Thank you, everybody. So, okay, that's that's the basis of it. And you can have fun mixing and matching patterns and colors. Again, any theme you wish. Before we finish decorating this, I just wanted to show you a couple details about the other finished cards. These are the new perennial postage dies. And I've used this smaller one that's a rectangle. And I wanted to kind of make them look like stamps, like love stamps. So that was my idea, was adding the hearts. And we're going to look at the hearts in just a minute. Stamping Love You, that's from the Bee Mine, the, you know, the Bumblebee set. And then Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. Super simple. We're going to do this. So I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. I'll show you that one as we make it together. This one was the size larger of that same perennial postage dies and I just randomly used the hearts and love you from the B B my wait let me see what's the exact name of it oh be my valentine I, I was thinking it was called be mine be my valentine um, so it's the love you and the hearts randomly just stamped all over it and inside Happy Valentine's Day is from that same set. I think this set is like so awesome that I love all the cute little greetings. And then this one, I don't know if you heard my story because now I can't remember which groups I've shared this on, but I accidentally ordered 10 packs of these gold brushed gold foiled cards and envelopes. I thought I was getting something else and I accidentally got 10 packs of that. So I said to myself, well, what if you just cut that card base in half and used that as your two quarter sheets? So that's what I did. And I liked how it picked up the gold. It's the exact same gold as in this most adored paper. So I used used the my advantage I, let's see, I took advantage of my mistake, that's a good way to say it, of ordering all those, and I just started making cards with those. And this You Are Loved is from this Softly Said set, Nice Big Greetings. This is an online exclusive, so you won't find that in the catalog, at least if I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure it's an online exclusive. And that's where I got that big You Are Loved for the front. And Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. So let's look at these cute hearts, and I'll show you where I got those so that we can finish up this card. And I do have some bonus cards to show you, so don't go away at the end. If you joined me in the beginning, I showed you that we are using... The Adoring Hearts Bundle. So there's a stamp set and there's an embossing folder and dies. It's not like actually pictured here, but I'm going to show you. So it's kind of a set of three things that make up that bundle. And I love the options that you get with this. So there are all these dies. This embossing folder, and I was trying to make it so you could see it, but maybe, I don't know, can you see it better with white? Maybe. You can see how there's nine hearts on here. And when you emboss and die cut them, they have these really pretty patterns on them. They kind of remind me of fancy cookies or something. I think they're just really cool. And I'm going to show you, I die cut and embossed those out of this pattern from this most adored paper pack. So I'm going to do that real quick to show you how those turn out. So if you want to die cut and emboss all together, you would take the die with the nine hearts and you place it on here and it, it kind of locks in place. Like I'm, I'm wiggling and that's not moving. So you can feel when it's in place. You put your paper and if you cut it to six by six, that's your best bet. Okay, so it looks like this. Now, 
talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to die cut this behind me. Okay, so I've run it through my stamp and cut and emboss. And when you lift it up, you have all these beautiful nine different hearts that are embossed and cut that quickly, that easily. You can use either side. This pattern is probably a little much with the embossing, but just, just showing you that you could use either side. And you can also add ink to these, which I didn't do on this, but I will be doing it with those words that I mentioned that I'm going to do a separate video for you for Monday. So that's how I got the embossed hearts. If you just want plain die cut hearts out of all this paper, which they're beautiful, then you just use this as if it were a regular die and you just put it on top of any paper. It can be solid, can be designer paper, whatever you want. So you would put it on top of your six by six, run it through the machine and you would get hearts. So I have a bonus to show you at the end about what I did with these pieces. So don't go away. And somebody remind me if I forget. <laughs> and I won't do it on purpose, but that's how I got all these cute little hearts. So we're going to use hearts on this card. And I want to show you how I did that rectangle postage stamp into or made it into a square. So I think, did I use this size? Yep. Yeah. So here is, I think it's the next to the largest. Uh, yeah, so it's the next to the largest rectangle die. So then I'm going to take this out. And I am going to line it up so that I can die cut again and it's going to cut a square. So hang on, talk amongst yourselves. Let me do that. So I'm just bringing it over here on the plate so that you can see. So I lined it up so that it would chop off that much and I would end up with a square. And that's how you can alter any of your dies. And you can see it had a little hanging chad thing there. So um, I'll just pull off this little extra piece and trim it. It's not really a big deal. I don't think anybody's going to notice, but um, there was just that extra little piece that just got a little bit off kilter. But isn't that fun? That gives you the opportunity to build on this square, even though the die was a, a rectangle. Sorry, I, hang on. Sorry, this is bothering me. My mat got wrinkled up over here in the corner because I must have moved it and it's just bothering me. It's not your fault. It's totally me. So then I'm going to stamp first before I raise this up on my foam adhesive sheets. And I use the Happy Mother's Day. Oh, this is actually another celebration set. So this is something you can get for free if you have a $50 order. Love these greetings. And I'm using, I think I already mounted it. Yep. I'm using the Happy Mother's Day and Real Red Ink. And completely unlike me, I stamped this over here in the corner 
usually I'm just so like matchy matchy that I have to have everything all centered and straight and look at that people are you proud of me those dies are fun Robin they are amazing thank you for sharing oh Gian you're so sweet thank you she said I'm an amazing teacher you are so kind Yes, I was saying that in the beginning, Glenda. You might have missed that. But yes, you can totally make these with any theme, any color, any designer paper, uh, any greetings, anything you want. Oh, look, I don't even have to cut it. I'm just going to use that. Um, yeah, absolutely anything. Does not have to be a Valentine, a thank you, a Mother's Day, whatever. So I know, Tammy, who am I? What the heck? What, what's happening to me here? <laughs> And you know, if you watch my videos, I really prefer to use my foam adhesive sheets rather than a dozen or so small um, dimensionals. It's just my preference. There's no right or wrong. You can do absolutely whatever you'd like to do. And let's see, I really love the red plaid. I'm trying to see, wondering, wondering about tossing in some gold like why not why not let's have fun with it let's do that so oh <laughs> here's another fun tip and I I don't want I don't know why oh I know why I did it okay so I wanted this heart to be popped up but you already have this thickness so it's like one two three four you already have four thicknesses of cardstock then I raised this up on the foam sheet, and I thought, if I raise this on a foam sheet, this is going to turn into a package instead of a letter when I go to mail it, and it's going to be like $5 to mail it. Not that a mother wouldn't be worth $5. I'm just saying, okay? So I'm going to show you a little solution here. Since I had so many hearts all die cut, I just took, I think I took like two or three extra hearts and I put glue and then I so that's I think it was maybe four three or four layers of hearts and it just gives you a teeny bit of extra thickness kind of looks like you used a dimensional, but but you didn't. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this will not cost, you know, $9 or $5 or something to mail. But it gives you just a little dimension. Oh, you liked that. Thank you. I'm glad you liked that. Oh, what? Let's see. Oh, okay. Somebody was at, thank you, Tammy, for helping. Yes, all of my videos are recorded and saved here on Facebook. They are also available the next day on my blog. So if you missed the beginning, pattystamps.com tomorrow, January 27th, this will be on there. It will also be on my YouTube channel later today. So Patty Stamps on YouTube. Thank you for helping everybody. Thank you. Yes, we are live right now. This is live. Thank you for those who were asking. So there's that. And then these hearts, I love these. And I'm kind of wondering if I took those downstairs. Please hold. Looking through my color pearls. Sorry, I should have had these out and I don't. The hearts and flowers are what I'm looking for. And I might have, oh, there they are. Okay, hearts and flowers. I love these hearts and flowers. I think this is like the cutest pack of anything that we've had in a long time. So I'm going to add a few red hearts, a couple of red hearts. wonder what the pink would look like. Let me see. Oh, I like that. It's not the exact shade, 
but with this white and gold I think this is kind of pretty it makes it a little bit softer looking I kind of like that let's go with that I like the pink I don't know if you can see here the difference that I used the red on the original and the the pinkish on the second one but like voila so easy is this so easy so easy peasy I think this is just a fabulous card design I love it so I'm just gonna put these back on here while I show you my bonus ideas so we already looked at this idea just simply placing those die cut hearts on a background very simple but a great way to use up any extra die cuts that you have and then here's what I wanted to show you so I cut card front size, so four by five and a quarter of the plaid from this uh, most adorned celebration paper, used my heart die, and all you have to do is center six of them on there. It's not going to cut all nine, okay, so you get your hearts to use on your projects. But then, remember my funny story about accidentally ordering 10 packs of these brushed gold cards by accident so all I did was used these put them on top of the gold card and then on some of the heart openings this one and this one and this one you can just see right through to the gold card that's the actual card behind it and then here I popped up the extra hearts so I just mixed and matched did different greetings uh, different patterns and used up the hearts and used up these because I didn't want to throw those away so don't throw that outer piece away use them on card fronts but isn't it pretty with the gold I think they really turned out lovely to take advantage of the gold um I probably wouldn't have thought of it had the gold not been in this paper but since it is it made me think about combining those into one project so yay what do you think the double decker z fold card plus bonuses <laughs> oh thank you. you i think you all love that thank you so much i'm glad you like them uh, so any questions? Let me just look back here on the live. Yes, making lemonade out of lemons. That's what I did, Mary. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'm so glad you like these. Any other questions? I'm just looking back. Tammy, did you see any questions that I missed? Let's see. Thank you. Don't think I missed any, but sometimes they don't even always show up. So again, if you are looking for the dimensions, I have this graphic for you on pattystamps.com tomorrow, uh, January 27th. It'll be on there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click in the description below to get to that post on the 27th or later so don't worry about the dimensions all the supplies are already there on my blog today if you need to shop for any of these don't forget the paper is a free item and that stamp set with the Mother's Day is also a free celebration item just trying to think of everything that that we talked about um, is there an area for a message uh, Mary, I'm not sure. You can go to my blog and you can click contact me if you need to um, ask something. Thank you, Tammy. Thanks, everybody. Can you open the card again? Yes. So this is this is how the Z fold works like that. And then you can flip it open like this. Um, it folds fairly flat, you know, for mailing and uh, yeah, so that's how it works. It's just a, a really simple fold. Uh, let's see. It's got some important. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, let's see. Yeah, thank you, Jan. Um, yeah, I think I have a troll. I will take care of that um, afterwards. Thank you so much. 
okay sorry so i'm just looking back through oh write a message on the cards yes i would use this inside panel for a quick you know like to so-and-so, love so-and-so, and then I would flip it over and write on the back if you want to write a message. Sorry, I misunderstood the question. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much, everybody. Some, you know how sometimes you get tunnel vision and you just kind of think you know what's happening and, and you don't? <laughs> so I am um, going to be gone next Friday. We will not have a live on February 2nd, but I'm going to do my best to pre-record just you know, a recorded video for you. I may or may not get that far. We shall see. I'll do my best. But uh, I missed the beginning of the direct. Well, thank you, Diane, for watching. You can always watch the replay. Um, What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I won't be here on the second, but I hope that you will check out my blog Monday for a super special pre-recorded video that I'm going to work on this afternoon. I cannot wait to show you the cards that I made. They are amazing. <laughs> and I um I will always have, you know, extras. These will be on my blog tomorrow the 28th. Uh, excuse me, Sunday the 28th. These are tomorrow the 27th. And anyway, I hope you found it fun and helpful. I just loved this design. So I hope you'll make some of them. And I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.